Spear Reviews. Back again with another episode of As the Spear. Ooh, the Spear Swirl! Oh, yes. the Spear Swirl! Nice. Yes! It was, nice. almost a, it was almost a mess up. It's not a Western New York nice. Wednesday. This isn't the Beer Patrol. I know he's already done it. You may it. have already watched his, but I hope you're watching ours. You Good. Uh, what are we drinking, Dan? I'm like, what's up? What uh, this? this is from K2. Ooh. Brothers Brewing in Rochester, New York. Rochester. Uh, over in Webster. Uh, this is their dill pickle sour. What? So oh. this is... Who dill pickles a sour? Uh, oh, K2. Okay. To, oh, it's right on the front. I'm an idiot. Uh, 6.5 ABV. 8 IBUs. International bullshit units. Uh, it's just a Canon 511. 2023. It says, Relish in its glory! One of our most unique and most requested beers. Our refreshing and taut dill pickle sour is infused with actual homemade <gasps> dill pickle brines. Oh, huh? what a glorious beverage. We will drink it and talk of its glory. Hop the Chinook. Ooh, Chinook. <laughs> uh, it's so like the house hop for K2, isn't it? Mike, how do you feel about pickles? I love them. Oh. I like a lot of things pickled. Oh boy, pickles are tasty. When's the last time you had a dill pickle beer? 47 seconds from now. Okay. When's the last time you had a dill pickle beer? Oh, I can tell you when. I had a dill pickle sour. I smell it. Uh, I had one... Ooh, three... Three or so years ago, down in Texas. Some uh, some bar down there had a dill pickle sour in a giant goblet. They rimmed it with salt and friggin' delicate spice was just double fist and down in oh, it all day long. She loved oh, it. Oh man, did they? <laughs> hey, did they garnish it with a pickle too? No, but they should have. I ordered a red ale. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, this thing looks oh boy, like oh man. I know. I'm. I'm <laughs> oh, whoa. All right. So it looks super light. Yeah. I, I, it almost Pre looks like it so looks old. like it looks like a, a macro beer. It does. It looks like a pilsner or a lager or something like it. Just a little hazy. We may as well get a whiff. Let's just dive in. No, let's do it. Oh my gosh. You know what that smells like? Pickles. With bologna and mustard sandwich. Holy shit. It smelled on a plate. Like, it's right there. Pickle loaf. You ever hear pickle loaf? Yeah, that, that smells fantastic. Honestly, it, it almost smells like a bit like a mortadella a little bit, too. A what? Mortadella? Mortadella? Oh. It's like the Italian bologna. They yeah, yeah, it. yeah, okay. It's got, yeah, like, the up. pistachios and stuff in it yeah. or whatever. But, yeah, like, it's almost got this sourness time. to it. That is a pickle with a bologna mustard sandwich. On white bread. Did, like did you it. put that in there as well? Yeah, homemade did sandwiches? White, did you put white bread in there? Adam, white bread. Someone making bologna sandwiches back there? Oh, that uh, smells. I, I could smell that for a while. It smells great. I know, but I want to try it. All oh, right, fine. Cheers. <laughs> Like drinking. Whoa! There's no bologna sandwich. No, there sort of is. Oh yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, oh there it is. There's there a little bologna. Okay, all right. Uh, I was too quick to speak. So it is okay. So it's a bit drying. Uh, like right on the. Woo! I am transported back to being a young lad, not a lactose lad, but a young lad. Having my bologna and mustard sandwiches with pickles at my late aunt's house on Seneca Lake while she watches her stories, which were ungodly soap operas. That's all this tastes like. That's that's cool that the, the beer brings you back like it that. It did. That's awesome. She's watching Days of Our Lives. I don't even know. It young was and the Restless. So ungodly boring. I, I the, even back then, as a young boy, I knew that that camera technique and style of filming was wrong. I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> Why uh, does it look real? This is, uh... I mean, do for, you... For the ABV, like, this is very, uh... There's an ABV? Oh, 6.5. Yeah, 6.5. Five. 
This should not be that high. It, it's not that... It, the body is actually kind of fairly substantial. It, it really is. I wish this was lower. This should be like four or five. I, I feel like... So there's not... There's sourness to it, but there's also that tart aspect. It's like a little bit more sour than a traditional jar of pickles. I think. There's a little bit... I mean, there's a... There's a salinity and everything. There is a little bit more sour. It. You could tell it's a sour. But I think you're right. It's not. It's not overpowering. Like some gozas, some sours, like can be very tart. The salinity is way over the top. This is not. This is dialed back a little bit, making it. Dare I say? I'm a little garlic. Very drink. I'm starting to get a little garlic. Oh. Yeah. And okay. dill. I'm starting to think fresh all dill. jarred, like fresh. Yeah, like, like you like, start, you start to get some like that you picked it right out of the backyard and, and you just, just let like, it go in there. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Still getting the bologna and mustard though. Big uh, well, hey, I'm can't end this, to... can't end this review without because I'm starting to get grilled hot dogs. A trill. So a, I a hope true you... comparison. Is the grill going? What's happening? We've talked about it. Those are not. Sandwiches or hot dogs. All right, what are we got? Dilly bites. Ooh, I love your little dilly bite. Oh, forks. We need forks. Are we stacking this beer up against actual pickles? Yeah, why not? Any okay. person would. Yeah, of course. Why not? Any any reputable channel would do such a thing. Should we? Okay. We've drank the Let's beer. Let's just eat. We one. might as well eat. Pickle. Yeah, no sandwich. So these... No bologna. These ones in particular... These ones are a little bit more... pickle particular. I like what you did there. A little bit more crunchy than your traditional pickle. The refrigerated. Mm -hmm. but there, it's pickles. Why, a little didn't bit, we, why didn't we get a jar of the, the fridge pickles from Wegmans? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been eating these. Thing. All right. Um, okay, so... Oh, fuck, I'm going in for it. Well, I think you gotta take a sip, then go on for another one. I'm too excited. All right, I'm, I'm going. Okay. Okay, so now this comes off like biscuity sweet. Okay. This is less like pickly than this. Like less bitter, less. Man, that aroma. Less tangy. I cannot get over the aroma. You can tell this is like a different kind of brine, like like with garlic. Tomate. Wow. It almost dials down the pickleness, the sour and salinity. Wow. I like the beer less now. I think. I think you lose some of the subtleties that were there before. Yeah, because um, this complete pickle overpowers everything. Yeah, it does. It but does. now we've learned that pickle has overpowered the pickle beer. Pickle on pickle action. All right. What do you rate the beer, Mike? Um, oh, boy. I'm going to do two ratings on this one. I'm going to do personal preference and for what the beer is because I don't know if I could finish a whole can of this. It's very overpowering. I would love to split it. Um, personal preference, I'll give it a four for what it is. Four, six? This beer is fantastically made. Okay. Like, it's it's what it is and more. Like, well done. It's yeah, a no, well made beer. For what it is, yeah. I'll give it a, I'll give it a four, four. I'd bring it up to a four, five if I had just a little bit more tanginess from the pickle. And less of, like, the garlic and dill and bologna and mustard. Interesting beer. I mean, it's it's great though. It's uh, not, and is this? It, look, it's it's cucumber water for adults. <laughs> Even though cucumber water is apparently for adults. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll tell you what. That's nice. A little pickle juice in there. Was this not what you expected going in? Like as far as a pickle sour goes, because I I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't what know. the final product whatever. was. I mean, pickle <laughs> no, whatever. whatever. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, we gotta go. Oh, that's good. That's good. 
He's about to lose it. Dude. His little dilly bite is. Dude, this is great. Standing at the table. Let's do it. It's a new Brian. It adds complex character to the pickle. I like it. Down description below. Avalanche Beer Reviews. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. My tap, tap. Take us on home. Take us on home, Mike. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think of pickled beers in general. Or pickles in general. Why not? Because. Good old K2. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. And pickle rare!